All right, 3.7. Before we start playing, you guys have probably already noticed that there's something very specific about this exercise. Now, before we get started on any exercise or any music, remember we're looking at the key signature, how many sharps, flats, no sharps, no flats. Our time signature, we're in 2-4 time. And then any repeats, but this one doesn't have any. So let's go ahead and start with our first measure. Now, you guys have probably already noticed that there's only one beat in there. There's only one quarter note. Now, what do we call that in music? It was from a couple of exercises ago. It's called a pickup note or a pickup measure, if we're, we're referring to the full measure. Now, where that other beat is made up is at the end. You'll notice that that will complete the two beats in the measure. So we have a pickup note for one beat, and then our last measure is one beat as well, and that makes the two of the two four time. Okay, we have a couple of other things going on. One, our dynamics. So make sure that we're leveling those appropriate dynamics wherever that is. And then two, our articulations. So that's in our second to last measure and our final measure as well. We have some bell tones. Okay, let's clap and count this. I'm gonna give us one, two, one, and then we start clapping. One, two, one. Two, one, 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 two, one. And that's it. We don't end with a two because there's only one count. All right, let's go ahead and play this. One, two, one. <laughs> All right, and that's 3.7. So it's important whenever you see those pickup measures to make sure that you count one full measure and then whatever beats are in that pickup measure. So for this case, we have one, two, one, two, one. And that's when we start playing. So it's important to keep that in mind. Anytime you see a pickup measure, remember to count a full measure and then however many beats, and then you come in on whatever beat it starts with. I hope that helps, guys.